Okay, pal. This station tests particulate matter in the air. Now, you'd probably have some science jargony way to say this, but basically, too much is not good. Hmm. Readings are troubling, but inconsistent. The only way I'll figure out what's going on is to test nearby emissions. But I've got other problems. The sampler's detecting toxic particles. Better check it out. That steam vent's a good place to start. Something in here that doesn't belong. Let's analyze it. Mercury. Bonded with... something else. I can't tell what. This obviously isn't confined to one building. A lot of people are at risk. Let's see what a sample from this can tell me. Nitric acid in there too, but also something else. I'm on the right track, just need to keep following the trail. This is more widespread than I thought. The whole neighborhood's in danger from this. Phew, that stinks to high heaven. Time to find out what's in it. Ethanol. Why is this sounding so familiar? Mercury with nitrogen and ethanol. Gotta get back on the trail. When this is over, I'll alert the health department so they can check on the local residents. I think I found the problem. Caustic chemicals are leaking out of those barrels and into the plumbing. Need to clean up the site fast. Huh. The calcium and silicon in concrete makes it an ideal absorption material. Looks like I'll have to make a mess to fix this mess. One down. Ah, nice, it's working. <coughs> Breathing this stuff in, not good. Ah, just a couple more barrels. <coughs> Gotta stay above this stuff. <coughs> That's one. That's it. Sealing the grate with webbing should stop any residual drainage. That could have been way worse. Harry's research station just proved why it needs to stay open. tracks GPS chips deployed around the city on birds and other wildlife. It collects data on the environment, which Mom wanted, and helps improve GPS on Oscorp tech, which <laughs> Dad wanted. So, it's actually probably safe. You know what, bud? I should have remembered to tell you not to bother with this one. Hey, the tech here might help me track my missing spider bot. Those things are too expensive to lose. Okay, I boosted the tracking signal on my other spider bot. Now it can track its brother. I lost the other bot's signal in the park, so that's where I'll need to drop this one. Nothing unusual, just taking my spider bot for a walk in the park. You know, like you do. Okay. It's following the pings from the other spider bot. Let's see where it takes us. I wonder if a kid picked it up and took it home. It is way better than any toys on the market.
Yeah, I told the AI to test it in narrow areas, so this pipe makes sense. Oh no, I hope it didn't get run over. New York drivers have no respect for the crosswalk. Looks like it made it quite a ways. Proximity alarm? What? Oh, you gotta be kidding me! And if I startle the bird, it'll drop the spider bot and break it. This pigeon's strong. Someone didn't skip wing day at the bird gym. Finally, it's nest. Wait, that's the other spider bot! I busted a feathered kleptomaniac. Now that I know where they both are, time to mount a rescue mission. He really did me a solid that time. Wish I could thank him. I got some work to do on these spider bots before I can send them back out into the world again. Pete, my mom was a big believer in the city steam heating. It's better for the environment than fossil fuels, but high pressure can lead to deadly explosions. This station was designed to monitor the pressure in specific buildings. Help me show Oscorp it's worth the cost. Please. Harry's really invested in preserving his mother's legacy. And who can blame him? There's been a sharp rise in the pressure in some nearby buildings. The problem seems to be caused by faulty regulators. I've got to break them off before the pressure gets too high. And the building explodes. The city will replace the regulators I break. There's no time to do this the polite way. Luckily, the regulators are on the exterior. A well-placed web shot should take them out. What do you bet Jameson's gonna lead his show tomorrow with a Spider-Man vandalizes building story? I can't leave any of them. It just takes one to cause a blast. Too many people in these buildings. No time to evacuate. It's up to me. Wrecking these won't cause any serious problems. The city can fix them easily. Okay, better head to the roof and make sure the pressure's vented properly. Nary a peep from my spider sets. Everyone's safe. I better get out of here before someone asks me to pay for all this. This station may be safe, because it's helping test an Oscorp military application, cloaking tech. But I don't love using armed drones to test it. Someone might get hurt. Not if I'm the one who tests it. Let's see if I can integrate the cloaking tech with my suit. Success! Uh, energy field interferes with my web gadgets. Not exactly a keeper. Uh-oh. Those armed drones are malfunctioning. They're dangerous. 
and the self-destruct signal's not working from here. But cloaked, I can get close enough to trigger the destruct mechanism. That drone didn't go far. I'll download its data before I wreck it, so they can ID the problem. Okay, I need to get within 10 meters of the drone to stop it, and I'll need to be cloaked. Nailed it! Now I've got to go visible again so I can swing to the others. Gotcha! Excuse me! Drone, but your data lives on. Better you than me. See it coming, did you? It's called the gastro bridge. We deconstruct classic dishes, reconstruct them into what we call a gastro tank. It's a, it's a donut. We know. I'm always breaking stuff. Another one bites the dust. Scratch one drone. Armed drones even legal? Stealth Spidey strikes again. Mode was fun, but it's not worth losing my webs over. Hopefully, Oscorp will figure out armed drones in Manhattan are not a good idea. But I'm not holding my breath. Now they've got the data they need. And the stealth tech is promising, even if it needs work. I think Harry's station is safe. And if they ever work the bugs out, maybe I'll whip myself up a stealth suit. This is one of my labs that monitors water quality. Any nasty stuff gets in, it tells you. I wanted to check on it myself, but there's just never enough time. Feels like Harry's not telling me something. I hope he's okay. That algae's already killing fish. And if I don't stop it, it'll work its way up the food chain fast. I whipped up a virus that'll attack it in Harry's lab. But I need a sample of the algae to make it work. Gotta get to the lake, stat. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Got it. Now I need to crack the cell walls, and the only way I can do that in time is with G-Force. The quick and dirty way to apply G-Force is jump off a tall building, and the tallest one around is Oscorp. I wish I could do this in a lab, but there's no time. Jump the gun! Woo! 
Got it! Now I just have to do it again. I am not eager to repeat that, but I have to. Got nervous, I guess. Got an itchy web finger. back to the lake and turn this loose. There. And it's tailored to the toxic algae. Won't hurt normal plant life. Which is good, because a park without plants is just a vacant lot. So, we installed energy-saving LED billboards all around this area. This station monitors how they're performing. I'm just hoping it saves enough money that Oscorp keeps this program going. Typical. Oscorp ignored the specs and jacked up the voltage going into the billboards. If I don't fix it, they'll explode. People could get hurt. And it would definitely be the end of this station. I need to use my electric webs to shock the screens into shutting down. And I don't have long to do it. Maybe someday there'll be a billboard of me. That doesn't say menace on it. Gotta hit each screen individually. would make these ads more interesting. Phew. Now that the threat's passed, they can adjust the billboards properly. And they did save a lot of money, which seems to be Oscorp's priority, so I bet this station's in the clear. This station collects overflow data from all the others. Yeah, God forbid we waste Oscorp's server space. Anyway, do me a favor and make sure it's running smoothly, or everything these stations do is for nothing. This isn't nearly enough server space. It's close to overloading. That'll trigger a purge, and everything Harry has will be lost. I can't let that happen. Wait, ESU has a backup server near here they never use. That can handle the excess data but I'll need to realign the transmission dishes to make a link from here to there, fast. The active receiver's easy to find. Okay, now to find another link in the array. Got it, just have to keep doing that. What's taking up all that space on Harry's servers? It looked like DNA sequencing, but that seems beyond the scope of the research stations.
Focus, Pete. It won't matter what's on the server if it all gets erased. Close. Should be in view of the ESU server now. Got it. Now I can initiate the data transfer if I hurry. Looks good. Good. Let's see. Looks good. Good. It's working. Everything stored successfully. Should be fine until I have Norman assign Harry some more server space. And he'll be glad to when he sees what the stations have been doing.